Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm a product marketing manager at Cognex. Today, I'm going to walk through how to set up a Vidi EL Read application using Insight Vision Suite. Specifically, we're going to be setting this application up in the Insight Spreadsheet interface. For this application, I'm gonna read the lock codes on these energy drink labels. Let's get started. Okay, so now that we're in the spreadsheet view, the first thing I wanna do is change the view of my editor. So if I come up here and press change split, you'll see that I have placed my image on my left and my spreadsheet on the right, which is where I'll be configuring all of my vision tools. As you can see, the image is a little bit out of focus and, and kind of dark. So what I wanna do to remedy that is go into my acquisition tab. So once I click into here, you can see all of these acquisition uh, settings exposed. And what I'm looking for is my autofocus button. So uh, when, with one click of this button, if I click this, you can see that our image is automatically focused in. To deal with the darkness issue here, what I'll do is go down to our high dynamic range selection and turn this on. As you can see immediately, this lock code right here, which we are trying to read in this application, the contrast between it and the background is improved uh, drastically. So for this application, one of the first things I wanna do is create a fixture. So if I come in here and I go to pattern match, what I wanna do is I wanna train this pattern tool on the word lot. So if I come in here and select this region and select lot here with this search region, basically I can now use a find pat max red line if I select this fine region, anywhere within this region, and attach it to that trained pattern on the word lot, and create a moving fixture. So if I go and put the device into repeating trigger and move my part around, you can see that the fixture, that green graphic there, moves with the part. This will be really important for uh, moving our read region uh, as the part moves around the screen later on. So now that we have our fixture set up, what I want to do is move into our Vidi EL read tool. So I will select that now. And from last time, uh, we had that fixture. So I will select the fixture, select the XY angle of that find pattern and press enter. And what that does is uh, ties the movement of that, that lot pattern uh, to this tool. So you have x, y, theta. And if I change my region and adjust it so it is just to the right of the word lot, you'll see that we get these characters here. First, what I will do here is adjust my character size for this. And then before we train, I, I will show how this fixture works. So if I click into character size, I can select kind of my, my average character here, press enter. And you'll see immediately that the DEL read is actually able to identify the characters in the image. So if I press OK, Uh, you'll see in the image that immediately Vidi EL read in these green boxes is finding the characters in the lock code. As well, uh, what we've done is attach that to the fixture. So I put it back in repeating trigger and what you'll see is that the read tool will move around with that lock code pattern, um, which is perfect for our application. So next what we want to do is go back into the Vidi EL read tool and do some training. So if I put my training screen here on the right, the training for this is very easy. All we have to do is label these characters. So I go 874447C, press accept all. Uh, we'll show it some other examples here. So that was blueberry. And then we will show it a lemon example here and relabel these as well. So 874403 
Let's accept all. And then we'll show it our final variation here, which is for strawberry, as you can see. So we'll do 8744395B and press accept all. So now, as you can see, the VIDI EL read tool is not only finding the characters in these boxes, but also properly labeling them. So a good way to check this is I can go into our our menu here that says 10 unique characters and three samples. And I can actually go and check that I have properly trained each of these characters into the correct class. And that looks like I have done that properly. Great. So the next thing I will do is show what this will look like in our runtime web HMI. Now that we have moved into our Insight Runtime User Interface, known as the Web HMI, we can validate the job that we just created. So as you can see, as I move around my label, you can see that the graphics here, which I have plotted, are plotting the correct readout of that label. So you can see here 8744395B. I can switch this out for our other two examples to show the lemon. See 8744039D. And then our blueberry example here, which is 874447C. The Insight Web HMI is a great option to show your operators runtime results from your Insight Vision system. To recap today's tutorial, first, we connected to the device in Insight Vision Suite. Then, we set up our image in the Acquisition tab. We set up our pattern in VIDI EL Read Tool. We trained our VIDI EL Read Tool. And finally, we ran the job in the Web HMI to ensure the tool was working in real time. Thanks for watching.